she be to key what he be to lock. <laughs> or something like that. He be to rap what key be, be to, to lock. lock. That's right. Thank you. <clears throat> it's not that serious. Good morning. Good morning. We're live. We're live. We're live. We're live this morning. Try to get it together. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee. Good morning, Arthur Lynette. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Oh, Brian is singing in the background. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Hey, we'll start the intros after we start the intro, and it's time to start the intro. So what are you doing, Lisa? Hey, Corinda. Corinda's in Thailand. Of course he is. Did you make a space for me over there, baby? No, I did not make a space what for you. you. No, I have to, like, Your space is there, honey, honey. Honey, 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 honey. Honey, honey, honey. Honey, honey, and me. Trying to find out what's wrong. Here we go. Hey, hey, Corinda is in Thailand. Good morning, sir. Good morning. My name is Brian McNeil. And I am Lisa Santiago McNeil. And thank you for joining us on our show, Let's Talk About It. We come to each Monday through Friday right here on the SIBN Network on iHeartRadio, YouTube, TuneIn, as well as Facebook Live. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Like, 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 like. Good morning, good morning, like, 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 like. Thank you guys for hanging out with us this morning. You know, sharing is caring. Take a moment now, if you don't mind, to go ahead and share, 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 like, love, invite, all that good stuff. Um, and let's make it happen. Let's get some folks on. Today's topic is really interesting. To degree or, or not, not to, to degree. degree. To get a degree or to not get a degree. And I hope that you guys will be sharing you your know. or um, opinions with us and all that good stuff. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Good morning, everyone. The impetus of this show here is um, I watched a, a really cool, I thought it was a really cool YouTube video last night. And the video was three apps that are worth more to us than a college or university certificate or degree. And before you get into that, you know that our uh, Lynette is on. Lynette's on? Because mm -hmm. at this table we sit, making it legit. But when the net hits the show, oh, oh <laughs> Other than this, tell Brian it's too early. Tell, tell B, hush up, too early, not yet. Hush up for what? I don't know. Hey, there's Melissa. Hey, <clears throat> Dum 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 dum. Melissa's on. Now it's time for us to sing our song. Good morning, Melissa. How you doing? She said, "Happy rainy Tuesday." I woke up this morning certainly assured that today was all of Wednesday. I had lost an entire day. Yes, she did. She thought it was Wednesday for sure. She said, "No makeup Wednesdays." No makeup. No makeup on today. And I said, "This is on Tuesday, baby." This is Tuesday? Yes, it's Tuesday. Yes. Not Tuesday? Yes, it's Tuesday. Oh, my goodness. I have no makeup on today except for eyelashes and the plus. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I look scary. What you think, baby? I think the worst you could possibly look is still good looking. Well, thank you. Um... <laughs> Beverly is on our show. Good morning, Beverly. Go on. That the way that you have the light is casting a shadow behind us. Could you put it directly in front of us? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. He was about to protest. Thank you, Hunty. <laughs> yes. Um, Melissa said. It was a scary Grim Reaper looking shadow. Well, I believe it's gone now. Let's look at it large for you now. No, yes. I don't have a shadow more. No more shadow. No more shadow. You guys okay now? Can you finish? 
getting your praise and worship on in the morning. You can get that out your spirit. No more demons lurking about and everything. Hey, Lady O, Grandiva. Good morning to you, my dear. Andrea, good morning. <clears throat> How you doing? Now, I'm going to get a sip of coffee in me and we'll go ahead and. Can I take a bite? Thank you. If I had offered it to you to say, no, I don't want that. You're right. But I didn't drink my shake. It was yucky this morning. I couldn't like it. I don't know. So anyway, good morning, good morning Marcus. Brother How you Blackwell. doing? Let's get into it. I'm glad you're here today, Marcus, too. Now, the impetus of today's show was I saw a video last night on YouTube called Three Apps That Are Worth More to Us Than a College Degree. Three apps that are worth more to us than a university certificate. I still can't do that other three. Yeah, you can do it okay. like that. Well, that works too. That's a gang sign, actually. Is it? Yeah. What is it? <sighs> Put it down. I'm not in a gang. I know, but we might have others thug up in here. <laughs> so anyway, um, what about that. So the three apps, and I'll just go ahead and tell you what they were. Were Google? Google is worth more than a college degree. Come on now. According to this article, I mean video I saw. YouTube is worth YouTube more. YouTube University, than a baby. Degree. And podcasts. Mm -hmm. Podcasts. These are three free apps. You all have it on your phone, probably. And it was <coughs> making the argument that why do people <laughs> go to college? Why do you go to college in the first first place? Beverly said, I thought I have to get the empowerment crew to come and rescue y'all from the Grim Reaper. Okay. <laughs> Um, so Brother Blackwell you, says he's totally with the three apps. Yeah, the three apps. Mm -hmm. Now, why do you go to college in the first place? You go to college to get a degree, mm -hmm. right? That's Which will give, give you a running start in life, you mm -hmm. know, because it opens up doors for you, degrees, certificates. The other reason you go to college is for the learning, for actually learning and learning how to learn, all that. And the camaraderie and the fellowships of people that you will never get a chance to meet in any other way. Yeah. You know, lifelong friends are developed there. Yes. Your life mate could be found there. A lot of times. A lot of times. Yes. Yes. I, yes. And so we were actually talking about what are the pros and the cons of either or to degree or not degree. This is an interesting conversation I have had often with Latanya Blackman. Um, I wish she was on mm -hmm. um, because she and I agree. But in the, in the beginning, it sounded as if we disagree because she was very heavily on the um, education side. I am heavily on the education side, but not on traditional education. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, Beverly says to learn what you don't know. That was that is her response to what is a degree for or college for. Anybody else, please post. What do you think college is for? What does college mean to you as it relates to you, as it re relates to your children, maybe, or as it relates to your opinions of others? Colleges have served us. Um, it has lifted people, families out of poverty. Yeah. It has done a lot of amazing things. And there was a season where as a people, African-American people, we, matter of fact, still, we're still experiencing in some communities the first to go to college or the first to graduate well, from college. Well, for so long we were excluded from that. Right. Which is why they had to create um, black HBCUs. colleges, you know, historically mm -hmm. black colleges and universities. You know, I did not know what that stood for for a long time. I just knew HBCU. I didn't know what it meant, but I was not down with the whole college mm -hmm. set. Right. So um, I believe in lifelong learning. I believe my education has never stopped. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not formal anymore, but I educate myself daily. I'm Absolutely. learning something every day. Absolutely. Through YouTube, through podcasts, through Google even. I do that every day. My wife does it every day. Absolutely. Brother Blackwell says, had I had these three apps while in college, I probably would have dropped out, let alone graduating and attending three universities. Wow. Mm. Why um, would you have dropped out? Maybe because the content that he was seeking what is readily available. The content, when, when I need an answer, I don't always need a degree. I need an answer. Like, and you'll go to Google for And I'll answer. go to Google. Well, I'll go to YouTube more likely uh, and then go to Google. Um, Beverly says, but to what degree do you degree before you make a move? Amen. Exactly. She also says, learn as you go. Now, um, some people have different preferred. I like podcasting in the background. I like Google for uh, quick answers, meaning that so I, anything. yeah, I prefer to read it and answer and read it in, I prefer to read the answer. Mm -hmm. And then when I have read the answer and it still does not click or connect, especially if it's something technical, then I will go to YouTube. When to I want to be taught, I go to YouTube. Do you really? Yeah. 
When I want to be shown, I go to YouTube. I want to be taught and shown all that because you'll have someone teaching. And a lot of times it's it's very, very good quality. Sometimes it's not. Brother Blackwell says money, accessibility, and benefits. Good exactly. morning, Joaquina. Joaquina, spend Joaquina. 40 grand and then spend the rest of your adult life paying back those loans. That's the downside to me. Yes, absolutely. Um, I, I definitely think that that is a downside um, to it all. So today we are talking about to degree or not to degree. And that is the question. Should you get a degree? How do you advocate about degrees? How, how um, persistent are you, where, are you with your children about the college, going to college and getting a degree? My wife, when I first met her, she had this philosophy. And you may still have the same philosophy mm -hmm. that as a mother, knowing her boys, mm -hmm. the way she knew her boys, yes. She was not willing to pay for their first year of college. Not at all. If they figured out a way to pay for their first year of college and pass the first year of college, yes. going into their sophomore year, she would pay. Yes. Now, why is that brilliant? Why is that genius? Brilliant. <laughs> because you could end up spending all that money for them to be not, on vacation. And they're not mentally ready for it. Yeah, for them to be hoeing, making grandbabies and on vacation. And no thank you. Because I know my sons. Now, <laughs> um, I thought Joshua was going to go into the service, mm -hmm. and for whatever reason, he changed his mind. Um, Brother Blackwell says, imagine the trade school. These three apps are the trade school of technology. College is not necessarily needed. Mm. I agree. Trade schools have fallen off tremendously. However, um, there have been trades, like I have teaching, teaching obviously not teaching myself English. I have taught myself, <laughs> I'm teaching myself. I have taught myself quite a few different a whole things new skill. as it relates to technology skills. Mm -hmm. You've taught yourself over the past two years. You've taught yourself an amazing amount of things, technology. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Go get you one. My wife is the queen. You know that bit by Kevin Hart? Simple my genius. Yes, that's my wife right there. <laughs> Um, Super mind. Eat you off your plate, you know, praying that she, you hear her fork on your plate. Ugh. And he loves it. He I doesn't know. have it any go other Go get way. you some stuff. Melissa, she wrote us a book yeah. here. No, I'm going to go get one. Um, Melissa says, college has been great along the past years with as much times and technology has changed. There are even more ways to achieve the same dreams without having to rely solely on college. College is so gosh darn expensive for so many of us. That's a big reason why many choose to do online classes or seek other means of educational gain. I didn't go to college. I wanted to write, but my dad told me I wouldn't make money at this point. I don't need college to write because of all of the new entrepreneurial opportunities. I don't feel college is necessary, although it has served us well in the, the past. past. That's truth, truth and truth. Melissa and Brother Mark are strongly saying we don't need college. That's what they went to. Absolutely, Beverly. I think I've heard that before. She's told her kids the high school diploma belongs to me. Everything else you do after that is yours to do. Yes, I agree. Mm. It was my, um, it was, it, I really wanted my kids to at least have a high school diploma. I was fortunate that the, uh, the last four girls were in the, um, the the program that allowed them to get their associate's degree while in high school, mm -hmm. which was cool for them to have. Which I like. Um, good morning, Angela Renee Simpson. And Angela, la, 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 means. We love you, yeah. It was so good to see you on Sunday. It was? Yes. It was so good to see Angela on Sunday. She's so was cute. Was she in a nice new mood or something or not? That is your brother for you, Sister Angela. I'm telling you, she had her hair did. Of course. She had her makeup did. Of course. She was looking cute. She had an upbeat attitude. She had many, many, many aspirations for the future, like it bubbling in her heart. And it was wonderful to be in the presence of that. Of I love that. That's my that's my happy place. When I'm seeing people going after and said, oh, honey, Angela, after you left, mm -mm -mm, I better not talk about it because she might recognize herself for whoever sat down next to me, honey. I just wanted them to go to bed and come back. I better not talk about it. So here I go. Yes, honey. I couldn't help it. I prayed. I have prayed. I have yet prayed. I don't I don't know the lady though. But I still prayed. 
There's so much I want to say about this topic too, man. I want to get into it. Today's topic is to degree or not to degree. So whether or not you feel the college, the college degree is as important now as it may, as may have been in the past. And there are a lot of things that we can achieve now than we can't, than we that we couldn't achieve in the past. And home ownership is one of those things. There was a time where African Americans did not own homes, that they didn't have those options. But now we have those options. And if you're looking for your first home, your next home, or your forever home, then you want to be reaching out to Brenda Booker Bull. She is the real estate agent who is all heart and no bull. With Brenda's support, you'll find a neighborhood. And if it's in close proximity to a college or a school that you're looking for, she's got you. And if you're looking for the next home, or if you're downsizing because your children are now off to college, she got you. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, whether it's get your new home, your next home or your forever home, you need to reach out to Brenda Booker Bull, the real estate agent who is all heart and no bull. That's all heart and no bull. All right, we're gonna catch up these comments here. But let's surprise. I also agree with Brenda. Uh you need to take it over Thomas. I've told my kids, excuse me, Beverly. I told my kids the options. They have post high school and I support their decisions always. And I try to give my best guidance, but they will, in all capitals, see their high school diploma no questions asked that's not an option <laughs> no question brother marcus you taught me a skill lisa with this technology although it takes me a little time i use all three apps to assist in my current <laughs> field amen. amen joaquina cologne i don't push kayla towards college she currently wants to go to vet school she also knows this mom this mama isn't playing for college isn't paying for college mm -hmm. and understand she needs to be well-rounded a student cheerleading uh internship at 12 and works for me but if she changes paths i will support her i am not a college graduate and i've done very well amen amen, amen. melissa price where is sabrina sturgis huff yes she would have a lot to say here she did already i made a post about it she posted she commented on it um marcus blackwell imagine having three plus degrees then you become disabled those degrees yeah. basically became paper with ink and a seal. Ouch, Ooh, ouch, Jesus. ouch, Marcus, That's you had to pull it out there like that, homie? Yeah, <laughs> good morning, Brenda. I hope you got to see your commercial. I think I did pretty oh, good today. Marcus just slapped me in the face with some real. <laughs> because imagine how that would, I, I'm putting myself in that mode. That's why it's throwing me off. Oh, Angela says, I lost y'all for a second. What were you about to say about what happened when I left the workshop? <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. nothing. Okay. <laughs> good morning, Dorothy. Lon Law. Good morning, my sister. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Dorothy Morell. Good morning, Angela Renee says it was very good to see you too. You look fantastic too. I had a great time. She's talking Yay. about Lisa. She's talking about Lisa. So imagine that you work hard to get three degrees. Now here's the thing about college degrees that's throwing me off, and I do want Sabrina here. Um, mm -hmm. Normally. I'm starting to be in a place where every time I see the word degree, I think debt. Ooh, okay. yeah. Every degree is debt. No, because college is a borrowed money business. It's wow. a borrowed money business. Mm, interesting. They call it scholarship, but it's a loan. Okay. Well, no, there are scholarships. Well, scholarships is free, yes. But but fi college financing. Most people don't go to school on straight scholarships without everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's a loan. So you have three degrees unless you were amazing and had three uh, or more than three scholarships to pay for everything. You probably got some college debt behind that. Thank you for listening in, Lon. And incidentally, I have had an amazing moment. I do want to get um, we're going to get prepped for our uh, sales tip of the day coming at 930. Our sales tip of the day is at 930. But I do want to share that um, I just totally lost my thought. Oh, no, our podcast. If you follow us on Anchor FM, and the link is in the description. On what FM? Anchor FM. Anchor FM. Yes, okay. which is our podcast. Guess what? Every time you listen to the podcast for at least 30 seconds, it pays us. So even if you've watched the show and you still want to be a supporter of the Empowerment Duo, but you don't necessarily want to have to send us any money or be a Patreon or anything like that, you can simply listen to the podcast. In the replay, 
and it actually pays us without you spending a dime. We so heard be it in a the car yesterday. How would they listen to it? You can listen to it. You can click on the link that's in the description in the um in the in in the description box. And I don't know if it's above us or below us or below us. I'm still working it out where you can tell your girl um to play the empowerment duo. There's something wrong with our RSS. The feed. smart speaker systems yes. in your home. There's something wrong with our RSS feed. So you still have to click the link in order to pull us on. But if you are interested in setting up your own podcast and getting paid when people listen to you with, even if they don't buy anything just by getting them. And we don't have a lot of listeners yet. I'm telling you, we don't have a lot of listeners yet on our podcast and we're still getting little ching, 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 chings. And I'm just excited and I wanna see it grow. But if you would like help setting yours up, let me know because the service- Marcus. Yeah, let me know, Brother Blackwell. Absolutely. Um, Brother Blackwell says- Good morning. It's not our own app. It's on Anchor FM. It's also on Spotify right. and all yes, of those yes. places where it's sold. Yeah. But, but right where podcasts are played. But right now, the problem is that we converted from one system to another. So it's sort of like we're in a bottleneck somewhere. So you can't just tell um, your smart speaker system to find us. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll put the link up here in just a minute so that you can so that you guys can click on it. Um, again, the the commercials for our sponsors are on there, uh, the topics that we talk about. And like I said, even if you've already listened to the show, if you just put it on and listen at least for 30 seconds, it gives us a couple couple of ching, ching, chingies. And I love it. Well, that's a price. Exactly, Brian. I feel the same. Degree equals debt. Why is education so expensive? Exactly. Why is education so expensive? Why are uh, medicine so expensive? It's crazy in this country. And Richard Pryor gave the solution why education is so expensive, why medicine is so expensive. And he defined the reason why it's so expensive is one word, greed. Wow, greed. Greed is how he defined it. Greed, because of greedy people. Greedy people. Yes. You know, um, Alexander Cortez said this thing, why does an HIV drug in America cost $2,000 for the pill and the exact same pill costs $8 in Australia? Why? Mm -hmm. It'll cost eight dollars there and two thousand dollars here. It's because of greed. Okay, um, college does not need to be that expensive, but it is. Okay, crazy. Uh, so Melissa talked about where does um, where do you look up Anchor the Anchor FM? It's on Spotify or is it on app? Marcus, it's true, Brian. It's true, Brian. I live it every day. Those degrees look good on my wall. They sound good if I mention them, but the truth is, I'm broke. Paying back debt and no one will bring me back into the television industry because of my disability. Well, that's not true. You can get back in the television industry with your disability. You know, you may have to start small, but you can do that. Absolutely. Um, Speaking of which, we actually got a call yesterday and uh, be on the lookout for some future actual big screen programming or um, television program from the Empowerment Duo in 2020. Yes. Uh, Don't talk about it yet. I just teased it out. That's the way you tease it out. I got a phone call yesterday from someone saying, Brian, can I have 20 minutes with you and Lisa? No, you don't get 20 minutes with me like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, son. You don't get 20 minutes like that. She goes, well, I want to put you on TV. And I said to her, well, I believe almost anything can be sold in four minutes or less. So what you got? <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. Bill Brown is on. Good morning to our friend Bill. Nobody thinks like him still. We, we love, love him so, so and we always will. will. Our we friend Bill. Will. Now, get this phone call happened after eight o'clock. I'm on my deck. I got my stick, cigar. I got my drink. I'm chilling. And I get a phone. Hey, Brian, can I get 20 minutes with you and your wife on the phone? Nah, you don't get 20 minutes with me and my wife on the phone. But I want to put you on TV. Uh-huh. You on, don't you want to be on TV? I said, depends. It depends on what's my time requirement <laughs> in it <laughs> and what's this about. Okay. Now, Lisa, for example, when I mentioned it to her, she goes, yes, we'll do it. I like, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't tell them yes yet. <laughs> 
that's how I go in my house. Well, maybe that's just in my house. Yeah, but what's the answer? The final answer is yes. Opportunities are multiplied as they are seized. Um, Lon has a good question. And incidentally, just to go back, the link yeah, to our, yeah, the link right. to our podcast for those that want to support the Empowerment Duo uh, is anchor.fm slash capital ESPTV7, which is our station. We hope to be bringing more of you onto our station as well. Um, so Brother Blackwell says, I definitely need to know because I'm ready to go back into the field. Amen. Yes, um, Lon Law, what's the alternative? Two degrees. Exactly. I remember when there were skilled trades learned in high school, but now what's the plan now? Exactly. Good question. Well, skilled trades are still available. Um, there, the Urban League still teaches an HVAC class that is really affordable. Um, they're not nearly as prevalent as they used to be. No, they're not. They, they're not because also because what people are realizing is you don't need a degree for something that you know how to do. Exactly. I still haven't gotten to my comments yet. I want to catch up with everyone else because that's a lot I want to say on today's subject. Um, Lisa, I would like, uh, I need the help with the podcast. Okay, Marcus. Beverly, you need to take it over Thomas. College experience gets you a job, maybe. Life experiences cause you to teach and become self-sufficient to make the money. You want not what's given with a gold pen in the end. Beverly, the education is not expensive. The professor's salary, the school overhead, the school is what's expensive, yes. <laughs> William Brown says, good morning. Uh, Marcus, I definitely need to know. Melissa Price, amen, greed and power. There's so many other countries out there who put the government money into education so the people aren't broke. Many developed nations give free college to anyone who wants it. Um, <clears throat> our country, wait a minute. Uh, their education systems are great. Families, students, and teachers are happy. Grades are good and their economies are great. Our country makes you commit to a lifetime of debt to continue education past high school. And look at the conditions of our schools, grades, teachers, students, and families. It's an issue. So if college was free, would that change anyone's opinions? I'm going to throw a question that's going to throw a monkey wrench in the whole thing right there in a minute, Melissa. Uh, Angela Renee Simpson, I left Queens College. SUNY after six and a half years only cost me $525 to $750 per semester. So no debt. I got bored with school and four, now that's a city college, I mean a community college, right? And I got bored with school and four months after I left, I auditioned to be on the course of Porgy and Bess and I love that story about her and Porgy and Bess at the Metropolitan Office and I got in. I've been working ever since. Now, I do want to finish my degree because I want to take my teaching to a collegiate level. I need some benefits and retirement, y'all. Now, I appreciate everything everyone said about the benefits of college. If the education is important, if the college or the university did not give out a degree. Wait a minute, it's just sales tip. Okay, if they did not give out a degree or a certificate, would it still be worth going to? If they gave you the same education, the same classes, the same cultural experiences, if you got all the same stuff, but you didn't get a degree, what would, they, what would it still be worth going to? What would happen to the college and university structure in this nation if they stopped giving out degrees and certificates? Now, I do believe there are some professions where you got to have a degree or certificate because you got to have verification that you know what the hell you're talking about. Doctor is one of them, okay? And that's almost it, okay? That's about it. Lawyer? I don't even think lawyer. Because um, <laughs> you can, most lawyers don't learn about how to be a lawyer in law school. They learn about how to be a lawyer from the company that hires them, okay? So, and none of the great physicists and scientists, our forefathers in physics, physics and science, none of them had degrees. Einstein, uh, Newton, those people that um, did these kinds of things, they didn't have degrees. I guess they got psychologists, some types of law you would, I guess. Okay, some types of law, I guess a degree is important. Corporate law, I can imagine you want a degree for that. Okay. Can I have that, please? Yes. Sure. So, but if they didn't give a degree, what would happen? Melissa's throwing out hearts behind that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Yes. So this subject is near and dear to me because I do believe in higher education. Don't get me wrong. But for a long time in my adult life, I soured on it because I was the manager of a company looking to hire salespeople. And it was a good sales job. And I had people with amazing degrees every week wanting entry level sales jobs. These guys had amazing, impressive degrees and they wanted entry level sales jobs. I didn't have a degree and I had to interview these cats. And I was thinking, oh my God, I just, this month I've interviewed 75 people with great degrees and they want an entry level sales job. Wow. Mm. So Angela says that. Um, As a lawyer, you have to pass a bar, the bar. So a degree is necessary. I get it. Is it really? What if, you, what if I could pass the bar right now without going to law school? If I was able to pass the bar myself right now. Mm hmm. Like if I studied just just to pass that test, would law school have been necessary? And back on Angela Renee, she only paid between five twenty five and seven hundred fifty dollars per semester. Mm -hmm. She was at a community college, which I do champion. Mm -hmm. Community colleges, I champion them. A fraction of the cost, <laughs> and some education, and, and the social benefits, and all that stuff too, but a fraction of the cost. All right, it's 9.30. It's time for our sales corner. Sales tip of the day. Sales tip of the day. Ooh. Sales tip of the day. Here's a sales tip. We catch up the comments first, okay? Go ahead, baby. No. Uh, okay. All right. So um, Kim Kardashian is getting her degree in California with going to law school. She is being sponsored by a law firm, of course. The work is still demanding, and she has to take the bar. Now, she is being sponsored by a law firm. Kim Kardashian is going to work for us in law. She's one of the most famous people on earth. It's worth it for them to sponsor her. But she still has to do the work. You're right, Angela. So Brother Beckwell says, in the ministry, they say you have to get a degree to spread the word of God. Blew my mind, made me ask why. Actually, that was actually the reason why I almost got put out of seminary. I got brought to my, um, to my, he's my current bishop, but he didn't know me well then. That was very early on, about 15 years ago. I got sent to the office because I didn't want the degree in the first place. I had to get it. My pastor said that we need this degree in order for you to be able to go into the hospitals and go to the different places that he was sending me, even though I was already a, a functioning lay minister, mm -hmm. I didn't have the degree. Right. And so he said, listen, just go and answer the questions with the answers that they want you to give and keep your mouth shut. And I tried. I'll tell the rest of the story after the sales well, uh, tip of the day. Marcus, I want to say this on Marcus. I will do the sales tip of the day. Um, in my book, my first book, The Shortcut, I on my dedication page, I listed three significant pastors in my life because there was three men pastors that did more to shape me than anybody else at the time. And one of the most significant pastors in my life was our pastor, um, Paul Anderson out of Raleigh. And whenever I tell him, and I still talk to him whenever I'm doing anything major, but when I go, when I left the city and went to another church and I let him know where I'm going to go, Pastor Anderson, the first thing he's going to check, he's going to check out the pastor. And one thing he's looking for is, did this pastor go to seminary? Now, he believes it's very important for you to preach and pastor a church to have gone to seminary. And he puts people that didn't go to seminary in a different category. And I love and respect everything he says. And he has a right to his opinion. Yes. But if you recall, since you're going to stop your sales tip of the day and start stepping on something about your little Pastor Paul uh -huh. and step on my, my little toes. Pastor Paul. Yeah. So let okay. me just tell you, my reason, little Pastor the Paul. reason why I was almost put out of seminary was for that very same reason. And what I told them is that the entire city that the woman in the well saved and delivered as a result of her going to share her testimony before she got a degree, before she got cleaned up, before she even had the stink of her life's experiences on her, that whole city would have gone to hell if she had to wait and get a degree before she could preach the Which gospel. Which is a great tip. I mean, a great point. Great mm -hmm. defense. All right. Sales tip of the day. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. I want you to imagine yourself in business. This will help everyone that's entrepreneurial right now and uh, even thinking about becoming entrepreneurial today. Uh, entrepreneurial. Imagine that you have presented what you have, your service, your product, and the client says, yes, they want to buy. 
They say, yes, they want to buy. They want to pay you the $2,500 you're asking for for your program, um, Angela. They want to pay you um, the $10,000 for your table that you built, Melissa. They want to pay you for ongoing support and training, whatever, okay, coaching services. They want to pay you this big money. They said yes to you. Now, what I'm going to teach you. Now, once you say yes to you, before you take money from them, I want you to understand that they need to be brought off the mountain. When someone says yes to you, particularly if they're saying yes to something that's significant with significant money, and I'm going to say significant money is anything over $1,000, okay? If they say yes to you to anything over $1,000, if they say yes, they are on an emotional high. They're about as high as they could be emotionally mm -hmm. when they say yes, okay? Now, you as the professional have to manage them coming off that emotional high because if you don't manage them coming off the emotional high, like if you, they say yes on an emotional high and you just take their money and leave, they're going to come off that emotional high without you around them. And if you let them come off that emotional high by themselves, then they start second guessing. Why did I just spend that $5,000? Oh my gosh, because the reason they said yes is gone. That was you. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to start asking this bring them down off the mountain question. If they say yes to you, I want you to say thank you very much and be gracious and all of that. And then ask this question. Now, before I decide to take this money from you, Angela, before I decide to get us happily involved in this here, please tell me why did you decide to hire me? Why did you decide to spend this thousand dollars on this table? Why did you decide to do this? Ask that question before you take their money. Now, when you ask that question, what you're looking for is an answer that's logical. This is the first time I'm wanting a logical answer. Every other time I want an emotional answer. An answer that's logical. An answer that explains something that they would tell their neighbors why they did it. If they say, Angela, the only reason I'm doing this is because you're so terrific, Angela. I love you and you're just great. That is not a good reason for them to hire you because if they're only buying because of how great you are, the moment you're out of their presence, the reason for them to buy is gone. You want them to be able to say that they see benefits for themselves because I know I need this. I've been wanting this forever. I know it's going to bring me to the next level of my life. I know I need this centerpiece table in my home. This is exactly what I want. You want them to say something that benefits them personally, not how great you are. And this has been the sales tip of the day, which is brought to you <laughs> by Brian Keith McNeil. And that's BrianKMcNeil.com. If you are interested in having a one-on-one -on -one or to receive tips on a regular consistent basis, simply text TIPS to 919-345-4893 and you will be able to get a tip of the week from Brian K. McNeil as well as schedule your very own complimentary consultation. I hope that blessed somebody here. And if anyone found absolutely. value in that, please let me know. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. We got some hearts and loves coming up, coming up, coming up. Now, again, you can go to briankmcneil.com for some free downloads. I believe there's the one, two, three formulas on yep, that page. Yep. They can grab the free download. Um, or you can text TIPS to 919-345-4893. We are back with our topic of the day, to degree or not to degree. No surprise. I think if you can pass the test, then you know what you need to know. Why waste the time and money on a degree? Uh, Melissa Price, buyer's remorse. I'm mm -hmm. trying to my tip. Marcus Blackwell, the disciples never got a degree, but yet they were able to not only spread the word, but also impacted the entire world. She, Message. Right. Melissa Price, replying to Marcus, yes, with emojis. Yes. Beverly, I think I went to college to prove that I am better than what they said I wouldn't be. Absolutely. I wouldn't be. High school valedictorian, criminal justice Bachelor of Valedictorian, Master of Psychology, Valedictorian. Uh, Seminary, Chancellor, Dr. Kevin Long, nice verification, cute, cute robes, wonderful compliments. Now I'm overqualified or come off as a know-it-all 
So now what? Life has only showed me that I can do anything I've set my mind to. Well, I would only tell whoever needs to know what they need to know about whatever I have or whatever I know. You don't have to put everything on every. Well, um, I want to say this about Beverly. Okay. Beverly, you have demonstrated throughout your life, high school, college, school, everything, that you're already a champion. Now, here's what I know about champion people. People that are with a resume like this, Beverly, they become champions again and again. Okay. Even when they go through valleys, eventually they become champions because that's champions think like champions. They just do champions. Ish. <laughs> Um, Melissa, thank you. She says, awesome sales tip, Brian. Standing ovation over here with the claps and applause. Uh, Dorothea, thank you, Brian. Great tip. Angela mm -hmm. Renee Simpson has a question. She said, can we ask a question regarding that tip? Yes, you may Please. during absolutely. this broadcast. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Bill said, Lisa, I thought you were going to say one-on-one -on -one with the great one, Brian K. McNeil. Great value. Thanks, value. Thank you. Thanks, thank you Brian. I, in my Facebook memories this morning, it, it really tickled me too. Um, one of the ladies was talking about, uh, I saw two great compliments from me this morning. One was uh, Miss Alondria Sims. She had just had her second coaching session with me and she called me the Black Zig Ziglar. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> now, Brother Blackwell says, I believe my business struggles because most purchase be of me but my products really work. Well, see, the yeah. thing is people will buy because they know, like, and trust you. And then they will refer or they will repurchase because your products work well. It's important to garner testimonials of the, the results that those products give from as many people as you can as well. It's harder work, Marcus, when they're buying just because of how great a guy you are. Yeah. You, and I know you've done it the other way because you keep, like, for example, you had um, last year, I remember, you had a financial emergency and you wanted people to buy the products. And Lisa and I were on here trying to raise money for your situation. And you was like, no, no, no. I wanted to buy the products because the products really do work. We're glad they work. <laughs> that's what you was doing because your thinking was, yeah, that's great. I want you to understand these things really do work. So we have got to get you, Marcus, to the place where people are buying your stuff because of your stuff, not just because of Marcus. OK, that can use what you got. Use all your tools. Yes, yeah. I'm Marcus. OK, Marcus, I'm going to buy this just to support you. But you want repeat business and referrals and the, and the product has to be able to stand on its own. Now, you say your products do that. And I believe you. I really believe you. But like Lisa just said, we got to get somebody other than you saying how great they are. Absolutely. And I think you need to do more of those videos with two where you're doing her hair. Um, with your products. I also think that those are great marketing, especially um, get them on YouTube, particularly a father doing his daughter's hair and that her hair is growing. All of that is going. Oh, good morning, Sapphire. Sapphire's in it. Wait, wait. Put my phone down so I can do my Sapphire. Uh, sapphire hug. Everybody do your Sapphire hug. Uh. <laughs> okay. Doesn't that feel good? It does feel good. <laughs> Angela says, what happened when the client tells you all those reasons without you asking and before they decide to give you their money, they read, they read my reviews and stats and they hire me from that alone. Now, I think your reviews and stats is a great reason to hire you. It's hard for me to imagine that's the only reason that they would hire you, although they may, although they may. Let me make sure I understand your question. What happens when the client tells you all those reasons with I want you to work with me because you're great, because I've seen your stuff, because I've read your reviews, because everybody's getting great results with you, and I want okay, those good. results. They want the results. So they have a benefit for themselves. Yeah. If they can articulate that it's a benefit for them, not just because of how awesome you are, yeah. that's a stronger sale. Right. If they only talking about how awesome you are, but not articulating that we really need this here, we need someone that's going to be able to uh, on a short notice or someone that's going to always be able to deliver, they see a benefit to themselves and you're providing for them a benefit for themselves. That's a stronger sale. Absolutely. I want to catch up some stuff. Bill, I think we missed some comments. I don't think so. I, I've okay. been reading them. All right. up to Bill. Good morning, Monique. How you doing? Hey, Monique. We'll be there this weekend. Yes, Monique. We're going to be in New York this weekend because Lisa is going to be a featured speaker at the Small Business Boot Camp for Women, sponsored by Tony Coleman Brown and her crew. Now, Lisa, uh, Monique has an event that day as well on, I think, on 
Saturday as well. And that's what I was going to tell her. If your event is not Saturday, and I think it is, that I actually uh, have an extra ticket. We got for, an extra one or two tickets, I think. Mm -hmm, for the um, for the boot camp, if you want to come. Yep. Uh, where are we at? Bill, he said, my challenge with degree programs and certification programs is because sometimes I have a problem with learning what someone says I need or should do instead of what I sometimes have a knowing to do. Now, the challenge there, Bill, is because you're you're a grown up now. You're not 19 anymore. And you're not just getting the degree for the sake of the degree. Right. You want to get something. The out knowledge of it. out of it. <laughs> so if they can't. They, they, they can't articulate it to a benefit to you that you agree with because you know what you're coming to the table for. Right. You're not fishing. Right. You you actually um, have a, an idea or a framework of what it is that you want to bring forth. Hey, Latanya. Latanya Blackman is on. Latanya Blackman. Good morning, my sister. How you doing? This has been a wonderful discussion so far this morning. Uh, Marcus Blackwell, I receive and will apply all of your advice. Thank you, sir. Um, I'm like, hey, lady, Latanya Black, we're talking about to degree or not, or degree. not to degree. You know, what's the value of higher? I mean, a, a certified certification, certification or a degree from a college versus the th I saw in uh, a great video on YouTube, three apps that are worth more to us than a college degree. And the three apps were Google, Google YouTube, YouTube and, and podcasts. podcasts. You know, you Google, you can find anything you want. YouTube, you can learn anything you want. Podcasts, you can continually reinforce yourself by listening. And Monique's event is from 1 to 4. I think mine is from 8.30 to 4.30. 8.30 to 5, probably. 8.30 to 5. So it's sort of right in the same thick yeah. there. But. And traveling in New York, you're not going to be able to make it. Okay. But we're going to be in town on Friday, Monique. Angela, I'm so sorry. And we're going to be in town Saturday night, Monique. So we got two nights free where we could see each other. Bump it to each other. I know Lisa honey, wants to see some family on Friday. Night. My niece. Okay. Um, but she's only 15 minutes away from where we are, and she's off for the weekend. So I'll probably see her on Saturday. Okay. Or Sunday. Uh, Angela Renee. I hate technology sometimes. The video shut down right in the middle of your answer. Ah! I'll catch the replay. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is time for the amazing mindfulness cards. Who would like me to pick a card? Okay, amazing mindfulness cards. Lisa invented these things a couple of months ago. There are 20 something cards in here. 20? 18. 18 cards in here. They're broken into five categories. It's got to be 20. Um, five categories <laughs> I can, I will, I have, I do, and I am. These cards all come with an affirmation plus a scriptural background. I mean, um, um, uh, a scriptural reference to it. So whomever, Monique Young, Monique Young has raised her hands Absolutely. saying me, Monique Absolutely. Young. Absolutely. So we're going to, Lisa has with her anointed hands is shuffling the cards and is going to pick a card for Monique Young, our friend, Monique Young. Now, Brother Blackwell, I know you got to go for the Blackwell Show, guys. 1030 Eastern on Marcus Blackwell's page. That's M.M. Blackwell on his page. The Blackwell Show starts. And we certainly hope that you will give it a try. Monique, your card is, I will fulfill my destiny. I will fulfill my destiny. And that's Romans 8 and 29, one of my favorites. I love the card, Monique, for you because there's no doubting on this. There's no such, I might. No, it says, I, I will. will. Will you be made whole? Will you? And this card is saying, for Monique Young, I, I will, will. Fulfill, fulfill my, my destiny. destiny. Romans 8 and 29. This is Melissa's card. Monique, up. that's for you, girl. Melissa, our uh, what is what is she for our show? The um the head uh usher or something? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know what you were going to Melissa sweetheart. Price. <laughs> Melissa says, put some extra Lisa on this card. Craziness in my world these days. Okay. L O L. So, well, so did you put some extra I Lisa did, on it? Okay. I did. And Melissa's card is I will not be separated from God. Now, I will not be separated from God. Now, Melissa, you said um, put some extra lease on it because there's some craziness in my world yes. right now. A lot of times the craziness in our world can be defeated by going to our faith because that's where our peace is. The fact that you said there's craziness in your world and then the car we got for you is I will not be separated from God. Maybe that's the way we defeat your craziness to yeah. get closer to God. 
not be separated, not let the craziness drive a wedge between you and God. Absolutely. Absolutely. Monique says, I love the energy. Amen. Latonya says, you know how I feel about getting a degree. I Hold believe. And she says, I will. Yes. This is uh, the plumber. The who's come side. to pick the sink. Yeah. The plumber who's come to fix the sink. You remember that? So Latonya says, you know how I feel about getting a degree. I believe we get it. It opens doors that may not open without it. It may not always get you where you want. True. However, it can never hurt because we don't know where life will take us. Um, amen. So Melissa says, oh, goosies. Thank you both. Uh, Lisa and Brian got to spend some extra time with my with my father today. Amen. Amen. Um, Latonya, I get it. I get it. I get it. I think I, I expected your comment. Um, and we have talked about this a lot of times before about getting a degree. Um, and whether or not it opens doors or does not open doors. So I get it. Um, Sapphire says, pull me a card too, please. I'll let Brian respond to Latanya's um, uh, post. What, what did she say? She says, you know how I feel about getting a degree. I believe we get it. It opens doors. It may not open without it. It doesn't change. It doesn't always get you where you want. True. However, it can never hurt because we don't know where life will take it. I think it can hurt. I know some people that are lifelong educational um, trekkers and they are in school for the long haul until they die. And I they have never family do anything members with it. who so. has gotten a degree and then get another and then get another and then get another and they stay broke, but they stay in school. Yeah. Okay. Um, Latanya, I, I don't talk people out of it. Okay, going to college. No, I, I think won't talk great, them out of it unless it's my money they're trying to spend. Unless it. it's your money trying to spend. Yeah. However, I believe also that the educational process doesn't end. Okay, we learn and then we learn and we learn and we learn. Yeah. But you don't have to do it through formal education. I have the biggest challenge with, because um, I do believe there's ancillary benefits of going to college other than the degree or certificate. The challenge I have is why does a degree equal debt? Why do you have <laughs> to, to get a degree and then spend the rest of your life paying it back? I got a card for Sapphire. Okay. And Sapphire, I promise you, I did shuffle these cards. I shuffle them every time after every person. And yet we still came back up with, I will fulfill my destiny. And that's okay to come Romans up with the same card because 29. That this means one is for Sapphire. For yes. That's for Sapphire. Absolutely. Sapphire, your destiny, you will Fulfill it. There's no doubting in this sapphire. Amen. I want you to move forward confidently in the direction of your target or goal Absolutely. because you're going to get it. Absolutely. You're going to get it. Absolutely. Beverly says, let your genius and your craziness coincide together and watch your genius come out on top. Wow. wow. I like that, Beverly. <laughs> let your ge genius and your craziness coincide. Good morning, Annie. How That's are you like, doing, um, Sister Annie? And good morning, Denise. McCray. Annie Thank Sally, good morning. Me. And Denise McCray, what's up? One of my favorite people on the planet. Um, all women are crazy, right? All women are crazy, <laughs> right? You just gotta find a woman with the level of crazy Ooh. that you want, or can you, okay? <laughs> with an with an equally matching level of crazy. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> but men aren't crazy though. So You're anyway, not. Uh, <laughs> no. Not me. No. I got no <laughs> Angela Renee Simpson would like a card. The amazing Wait, are we caught up? cards. Yeah, we're caught up. Okay, cool. We caught up with all the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, I was. I, I thought you were going to respond more to Latanya, but okay. I just I'm gave fine. that a little bit. I'm, I had to answer the door. Okay, cool. I know. All right, cool. um, that hit my. Okay, Melissa Price. Wow, thanks, sis. That hit my heart. Needed that today. Amen. Angela Renee Simpson, please pull for me. So who's next? <laughs> Angela Renee Angela Simpson. Renee Simpson. I love this. I love this. I love this. Hers is I have abundance. I have abundance. And that's Proverbs 37, 11. Latonya said, I would not have had the opportunity to move to Charlotte if I didn't have a degree. Wow. I wouldn't have met you guys either. I guess if you believe, if you don't believe in predestination, then you might believe that to be true. Cause I don't think that there's anything that could keep me from my destiny. Got it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what you got to do. Yeah. Well, um, he's working on our garbage disposal, y'all. But that's real life problems, okay? So we got to get this handled. <laughs> so Den Denise um, McCray says some people get a degree to fulfill a self actualization de desire. A degree is not a cure all to success. Passion is my, in my opinion. 
Passionate. Um, absolutely, uh, absolutely. Key and Peele, some of the favorite people I like. And uh, they did this one thing, a monologue, about what a typical black movie's like. In black <laughs> movies, they have to say stuff like, I'm going to get my degree. Or I'm going to go to college. <laughs> <laughs> Angela Renee Simpson said that card you pull goes right back to gratitude. Abundance is a great place for gratitude. I wanted to talk about that. I I have abundance. Is that what the card says? Mm -hmm. I have abundance. Yep. So often we look at what we don't have. We look at the, our bank account. We look at what's on our debit card or credit card. We look at what's like we don't have stuff. Mm -hmm. But when we start adding up what we do have. Yes. Earl Nightingale says to the rest of the world, the average American is rich. Most of the world thinks the average American, because we have a car or two cars, yeah. is fixed. Yeah. It's fixed. Yes. It right. works right now. Yes. So if I put food in there right now. Don't put food in there. <laughs> <laughs> this man's been in my home five minutes and he's saying it's fixed. Okay. So yeah. if I put like an <laughs> apple core in there, it'll. Not the core. <laughs> okay. The peel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like uh, lemon skins, and like you know, uh -huh. anything like that. Thick, you can, but kind of monitor. Okay. But, but regular, like rice off a plate. So, um, okay. he Latonya, says it's fixed. Latonya says, <laughs> "I believe in predestination. I fixed it before he got here. I just didn't know how That's to reset it." That's what it was. It. <laughs> yes, I didn't know how to reset it. I had already fixed it. I just, I didn't know how to reset it. I, I, That's what I looked for. I had an Allen wrench, but I didn't have the right yeah, size. Yeah, yep. Uh -huh. All you have to do is just turn on the bottom because sometimes when it does. Told you, I knew what I was doing. I just didn't have the right key. Let me get back to work. Oh, thank you. Dorothy says, I dropped out of high school in the 11th grade due to unfortunate circumstances. Eventually got my GED, and then I was hired as a teller of one of the largest banks in Wilmington. While working as a teller, I took every course through my jobs program, worked myself up, became a head supervisor of several tellers, and started training to be a loan officer. I thank God for his favor. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> Beverly says, I'm grateful today for where I'm about to go in the vehicle that God has brought me here. Amen. Yes. Uh, Bill says, you can put applesauce, not the core. <laughs> <laughs> amen. Amen. Sapphire says, I accept it completely. That is, I will fulfill my destiny. People and random reads have been saying the same thing. I'm excited and ready. These moments confirm I am on the right path. Amen. 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 Now, Sapphire, um, everyone on here, listen to me here. Um, one of the podcasts that I, I, I'm, I have in my queue to listen to, and it says, do people really know what you do? Do people really know what you do? Do you really know what Lisa does for a living? Do you really know what I do for a living? Do you really know what Latanya do for a living? Do you know what Dorothy does? Do you know what Sapphire's mission is, mission is right now? Do you have any idea what it is that William Brown does? Now, I just mentioned like six people. And do you know what all six of those people do? Because most of the time, we really don't know what each other does, which means most of us are not very good at putting it out. So I'm going to watch this. I'm going to listen to this podcast, and I'm going to resolve to do a better job of articulating to the world around me what it is that I actually do. Okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and I said that uh, Sapphire was the impetus for it, because if I had to ask myself a question, what track is Sapphire says I'm on the right track and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm on I the right path. I'm on the right path, but I don't know what the path is. And she's a friend of mine. I have no idea what her path is, but I should know. So yes, Latonia said, I believe in predestination. My degree was the catalyst to this relocation. Amen. Awesome. We're gonna count awesome. that the catalyst. Awesome. So that degree for Latonia gave her the confidence to uproot from one state and city in Cleveland, Ohio. I mean Ohio to come to um Another city and state. Who is um who is Beverly responding to? Beverly, go down, go down, go down. Okay, uh, Sapphire, your job is to hug. <laughs> your job is to hug. All right, let's make sure we call all these comments. Okay, uh, Dorothea. Uh, Dorothea says, "I dropped out of high school in the eleventh grade due to unfortunate circumstances. Eventually, got my GED." Then I was now. Then I was hired as a teller. You read that already. I did, but you can finish reading it. Right? I tell at one of the largest banks in Wilmington. While working as a teller, I took every course through my jobs program, worked myself up to become a head supervisor over several tellers, and started training to be a loan officer. Thank God for His favor. Amen. 
You read Beverly Sue? I did. I did. We're all caught up. I'm just trying to get okay. Um, these. Monique Young says, you are a great husband for Lisa. You're right. Um, you know, and I go back to uh, a couple of things. Lisa was a powerhouse before I met her. Okay. But, and I was a powerhouse before she met me. But when we got together, it became even better. You know, I thought my shit was good before I met Lisa. I thought my writings were good before I met Lisa. And what I learned was, when I was willing, this happened early in our relationship because I used to be a prolific writer of articles and stuff like that. I used to write articles and I started letting Lisa look at my stuff. And then Lisa would make, and she would do it in a loving way. She'd make some suggestions and tips. And my articles were better because of her eyes on them. Like, huh, she made it better. And I thought I was really good. And that's happened a lot in our life. A lot of stuff got better. So thank <laughs> you for highlighting that, Monique. So right before we sign off, I want to make sure that you guys know that you can check us out, catch the replay, or even some old, old episodes back from 2014, 2015 mm -hmm. of the Empowerment 2015, 2016. The show that started the 16. I'm sorry, 2016. <laughs> 2016, 2017 of the Empowerment Duo when we first started are out there on anchor.fm slash ESPTV7. It's on the screen. Anchor.fm slash ESPTV7. Yes, and it's on the screen right there, and you can click on the link as well in the description box. But every time that you listen to at least 30 seconds of the show, we get little ching, 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 ching. You get a couple coins. Yeah, and it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. So we're excited, and we appreciate when you. When young, yep, that's what the connection does. Enhances and increases our greatness. Sapphire. Man. Brian, that was on point. I have not mastered articulating my skills and goals to people. That's right. Me either. Sapphire. Hope everyone has a safe and blessed day. Thanks Santiago for making our day great. I'm still Already. Brian Keith McNeil. And this has been Let's Talk About It on ESP TV okay, 7 on the SIBN Network, iHeart, iTunes, and right here on Facebook Live. And remember that your life is not a scrimmage or a practice game. There is no Martyrs Hall of Fame. Time this feaster takes its toll. And for all of us, every day really is the Super Bowl. So God bless you and go forward and live your Super Bowl life today. And remember that you have been blessed by the blessor to be a blessing. Permission to be amazing is granted. And today is as good a day as any. So you might as well have sex. That's right. You might as well have sex. The link is Thank there uh, to catch past episodes. I'm, Absolutely. I'm check out the link Absolutely. myself. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us today. And it's Tuesday, so you might as well have sex. Ace. You might as well. Peace. <laughs>